inside the tank and flanges. The rear three tanks only need drill pilot holes marked, while the front tank needs circular notches marked. Pilot and drill the marked areas on the left and right side of the tank. These will be used for bulk clearance. Drill pilot holes using the templates. Subassemble one side of the tank seal, letting the opposite side hang. On the hanging half of the seal, fill the groove above the mounting hole with sealant. Bead should be at least the width of your pinky finger. Attach hanging side with caulk to tank. Attach seal plate at this time. Remove opposite end without sealant. Complete sealing on hanging portion. Mount seal to tank using inner plate. Attach side plates to seal and tank. As a reminder, install ladder bracket bolts to ladder side plate before installing. Repeat sealing steps on all tanks. Install ladder brackets. Fill the bottom groove of the seal fully with the same sealant as used before. Loosely install agitator to tank flange in the centermost bolt hole. Use lifting device to lift meters snug to tank. Be mindful of meters fitment against the cart's frame. Loosely install agitator motor mounts. Install flange brackets on the left side. Install agitator motor assembly. Snug brackets to the motor mount, just tight enough that the motor mount can move but stay where it is moved to. Verify the agitator shaft rotates through the next few steps. Ensure that the agitator shaft is centered left and right and up and down. Torque all agitator mount hardware. Torque agitator shaft bearing. Check to see if the agitator rotates one last time. Install shaft bolt. Install connecting rod to shaft.